Well, here we are, back at NATO Division Commander, play by pole, turn five, Soviets playing their turn, top of the fifth turn, 2400 hours. We are uh, in a precipitation uh, situation, so that means that's all goodness for the Soviets. They get plus two on their attacks, and they also get a plus one uh, because it's night. So that's a plus three before we even start rolling dice or looking at anything. So let's have a look and see what uh, has happened so far on the turn. We've only made two attacks, and they were uh, uh, very important for a couple of different reasons. So the first one was the hasty attack, where we had a unit sitting here, and they went through their exercise of the hasty attack. Uh, and they had four steps, and uh, plus five on the attack, as you can see there, that little five. Uh, and their leader was actually just a minus one. But they were attacking a unit with a defense of eight, a minus three on the leadership and only and six uh, full s steps. Uh, they're in the woods, which is basically negated by these adjacent guys. Uh, it's a plus two for the woods and plus two for having an adjacent unit to the attacker and to the, de the defender. But I did uh, throw in chem. And so the first chemical attack was this one and that added plus five to the situation. So the pluses started to rack up really uh, quite aggressively. And the Soviets laid in with as much uh, air and uh, artillery as they could. But despite that could not uh, prevent the uh, Americans from uh, doing likewise. Uh, none of the interdicting uh, efforts that were conducted by the Soviets, the counter-battery measures and things like that, uh, really had any effect on the uh, ability of the Americans to deploy uh, final protective fire. And so that final protective fire went through, uh, and despite all that, it would end up being a, a plus seven, a plus eight uh, attack here, significant. So it was an overrun opportunity, and that is in fact what happened. So this unit was overrun. It retreats one automatically and loses two steps. Uh, now, as I mentioned in the previous uh, post, there was an opportunity to attack this unit while it was in the hasty attack mode and prevent that from happening. Uh, you may say, well, why bring that up, Kevin, and rub it in my face? Well, just because I'm like that. But the second attack we did is up here, this hasty attack up here. And we used chem again, and this time we only get plus three in our chem attack. Uh, we had a guy adjacent, and these guys had six steps and only one minus one on their leadership. These guys had minus two on theirs, and they had five steps. And but the way it all worked out was it was only a <coughs> a, a zero on the uh, on the uh, combat results table, which is nowhere near as effective uh, when you start rolling to see where the modified combat result will be. What you do in this game is there's a basic combat results table that has a uh, uh, a series of modify you have the modified result the differential and then you roll a d6 and that tells you what table or what column on the on the combat results table you do your result on and so we were doing our result on the d1 which is one of the it's the least effective offensive table uh, uh, that, that's good for the offense. Otherwise, it then roll, goes down into the uh, attacker benefit side. So more like the one to two, one to three, conceptually, uh, those types of results. So uh, one loss, one step loss each. So this pops down one. It doesn't have to retreat. And these guys lose one, and now they're you know they're only down to five steps. Uh, it was interesting to note that there's quite a few units that are engaged here, and that's because of the the uh, the, the counter battery fire that went on. Uh, in the previous turn and, and stuff like that. Now, it's turn six, and if we look at the map, uh, we've got to get all the way over here to Giesen. Let's have a look at what's going on with a lot of these units. Uh, this guy here, oops, this guy here is down to one step. He's down to two steps. Uh, these engaged dudes here have two steps left, but a plus one on the uh, command. These guys have three steps left. These guys have four steps left. And uh, there's three here, and there's three here, and I think there's four there. And down here there's two, and five, and three. Oh my goodness, and three. And then, so you can see it's there, and the Soviets are fairly beaten up. I would, if I was gonna guess what the percentage losses were at the moment, I would say it's about 
40% loss ratio, given that there's also these four units off the board already. And what about the Americans? The Americans have uh, this unit will die this turn, we'll kill that off this turn. So that's a full battalion of tanks lost. They're okay. These guys have got four. These guys were enga are engaged, they have five. These guys are down to four. And then we have two full, but uh, we have a full brigade back here. This is where you guys wanted to move these guys last turn. Which, you know, uh, although I was uh, bitching about you not attacking uh, here or here and doing the and doing the preemptive attacks. By doing that, you have very you know very strong units sitting in a second line of defense. Uh, so that's okay. Mobile defense here. Uh, four steps. Fatigue level one. That probably should have come off last turn because we did not move or activate. So that's probably at F zero. And uh, so. With three moves left, no, yes, three moves left, and these interlocking zones of control here. Unless we did a a um, a doctrinal uh, sweep all the way around, I really don't see how the uh, how the Soviets are going to be able to punch their way or fight their way off the map with any any level of force that would uh, constitute a victory. And so, uh, despite my uh, thinking that we were in a pretty, pretty severe situation, I think the umpire is going to call it in favor of the Americans with a pretty, pretty hefty win, uh, really due uh, to two things. Firstly, uh, I think poor uh, focus of the Soviet attack and not enough incremental attacks going on. So I think we should have you know, hit, then hit, then hit, had three attacks on the one unit in a given turn. I think that would have wound, ground these guys down a little faster and instead of just trying to attack with one unit and then trying to attack again next turn, um, we should have been rotating guys in there and trying to get uh, some, some better advantages out of the number of units that we had. And secondly, uh, the aggressive uh, attacks in turn two and turn three uh, uh, by the Americans really drove the, uh, really hurt the Soviets who were in administrative mode. And then once, I think once we caught them in hasty attack mode, and uh, you see how there's a plus three on the hasty attack here. Well, so when you're attacked, it's actually because you're preparing to attack, you're not re expecting an attack to be attacked. So that gives a, a, a significant benefit to the uh, to the force that's going to attack it. So that all worked out pretty well, I think, for the uh, for the Americans. They did a really good job there. I could certainly see where if you played in an ahistorical manner, uh, or also I should say not ahistorical, but you know, you don't use the Soviet doctrine methodology, then you are you are you could probably clean up the Americans pretty quickly. But by by you know forcing this advanced route. Uh, concept and the way that the Soviets move, you do end up with a uh, pretty nifty uh, little uh, feel for uh, what what may have happened. Uh, I think perhaps they probably would have had a little bit better results. Uh, the Soviets would have had better results uh, in real life than perhaps my efforts here. All right, there you go. So that's the play-by-poll for NATO Division Commander. I don't think we'll be doing another play-by-poll for a little while. Uh, we'll take a break from that because it's uh, an enormous amount of uh, work to create the polls and write stuff up and do things. We'll just, uh, I think we might break out uh, Fifth Corps and Hoff Gap and BAOR next and uh, set that up and, and play by the uh, consolidated rules out of BAOR and uh, see if I can make sense of all the adjustments and changes that went through with Kemp's, uh, Kemp's development of that series. All right, we'll talk to you, talk to you guys in a little while.